Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here and friends. Hope you're all fit and well. A Shanghai woman with thousands of counterfeit $100 bills. A scare comes from the Thailand border from the African swine flu. Thailand Rick, a vlogger in Thailand with some problems. And a Thai man from Lung Pung really loves his beef a little bit too much. But first up, Vietjet and its bikini line. You see, it's not all doom and disaster. Vietjet is holding the bikini show to celebrate launching Bangkok to Dalat route. Vietjet has surprised the airline industry again with its uh, bikini flights and swimwear exhibitions. Vietjet's Thai division originally launched a direct route from Bangkok to Dalat, the mountain town in central Vietnam. And the budget carrier decided to celebrate the event with the launch of uh, some bikini modeling and some uh, swimwear. Very good. The Vietjet air hostesses strutted their stuff during the flight to the total surprise of some of the passengers wearing their signature red and yellow swimwear. The scantily cladded women also displayed flowers as Dalat is known as the city of flowers. Occasionally Vietjet does these type of things and uh, they have a calendar out as well with uh, the girls, uh, oh very nice. Vietjet denies that they have a calendar out with uh, air hostesses doing photo shots in bikinis. Well, yeah, there they are. But people that have uh, been on Vietjet's bikini flights have uh, really, really enjoyed themselves. It's uh, pretty fascinating actually. I mean, it's only a 45 minute flight to, uh, from Bangkok to Vietnam, but uh, what a fascinating way to spend 45 minutes. I don't know. I reckon good on Vietjet. Just hope the pilot manages to concentrate on his job. I think a lot of people will be flying exclusively with Vietjet from now on. And I'm sure those airline hostesses are very good at their job. A little bit of history on Vietjet. They've been going since 2007 with their uh, showcasing bikini clad stewardesses on some of its flights. The carrier was issued a $1,000 fine by regulators for an unapproved show featuring women in string bikinis during a domestic flight. Good on Vietjet! <laughs> Police arrest a Shanghai woman with thousands of counterfeit $100 US bills. Counterfeit US dollar banknotes valued more than 16 million baht have been seized at a Shanghai house after police organized a sting. A 54-year-old woman was arrested over the incident. The sting followed a tip-off by Border Patrol Police about the fake US notes being circulated around the Tambon Rim Cock area. Police are saying they found two metal boxes containing $100 notes in a woman's house. Police also found unfinished counterfeit notes as well. Police conducted the sting where an undercover officer posed as a potential customer for the fake notes. A meeting was arranged at a nearby petrol station. The woman then took the policeman to her house, showing him the process of making the counterfeit US bills. He then called in Border Control Police and revealed himself. I mean, showed the woman who he was, not revealed himself, like, like you know, type of thing. Uh, yeah, revealed himself as being a policeman and uh, arrested the woman. The woman has been charged with possessing counterfeit foreign currency with intent to use them. I mean, if you're caught with a uh, $100 counterfeit uh, US bill, what would you be doing with them? This is the question. I don't know, I'd probably be using them, um, spending and buying things. What would you be doing with them? Okay, for all us pig farmers out there, um, the government in Thailand has got together with all the local farmers, or all the farmers in um, Thailand, because they've been concerned with the, the agricultural minister has been concerned with the African swine fever. The agricultural minister is formulating plans to prevent the African swine virus reaching Thailand through the border countries of Laos, Cambodia, oink, and um, Vietnam. He said that um, they are holding various meetings around the um, country with various farmers. There are actually over 200,000 local farmers nationwide. And believe it or not, there are over 20 million pigs. Crikey, that's a lot of, that's a lot of bacon and a lot of pork steaks. And the, the value of all this meat is valued at about 200 billion baht. So that's a lot of pork to protect. 
A foreigner in Thailand doing YouTube videos has got himself into some hot water. Going under the name of Thailand Rick on Tour, Samang Jarapan, 47, says she has been in business for 12 years, running her massage shop. She said that claims that sex for sale on the premises was entirely false. She said her staff in the shop were very old and also stated that her staff in the shop do not offer sex at all. She said the foreign vlogger, Thailand Rick on Tours claims, are damaging to her and businesses nearby in Pattaya. Samang Jarapan, the owner of the shop, went to the Pattaya police to put in a complaint and was directed to go to the Computer Crimes Police. The owner claims she has massages and not prostitutes. Thai Television News is claiming he is claiming he paid 1,000 Thai baht for sex. Pattaya Police and the Computer Crimes Division are working together to track down the foreign YouTuber. It is not known if Thailand Rick on tour is still in Thailand. But if he is, there will be an alert on his passport. When he goes through customs, they will hold him up. And this whole incident may take one year to go to court. I hope things turn out well for Tom and Rick on tour. And this can be all settled quickly. Well, here's an interesting report of the man from Lumpung. He's a man 40 having, having sex with a cow. <laughs> um, he got caught. He was apparently running down the road naked laughing. What's wrong with that? There's <laughs> several, several reports of this in the media that have just come to light. And here we are. This is the bizarre moment. The man was caught. The man was frog marching, frog marched naked into a police truck after being caught having sex with a cow in capital letters. The 40 year old man who was not being named was spotted by horrified villagers kissing <laughs> and mounting the, the cattle from behind. <laughs> at at nine at nine thirty AM Lumpung time, Lumpung Province time. Nine thirty AM, so he was having <laughs> Morning glory morning glory. I've heard I've heard of this. <laughs> I have heard of this morning glory. <laughs> they chased. They chased after him. Yeah, they had to. They had to chase after the naked man down the road, and he he brought drawn attention oh, to himself being na naked and laughing. <laughs> and they, Jeez, they chased him confronted with that nine, naked nine in the morning, into the bathroom <laughs> of a nearby farm, <laughs> barricading himself inside. As furious locals tried to get him out, <laughs> they were going to lynch him, mate. They were going to, they were going to lynch him. <laughs> and here's, here's the naked. Here, here it is. It's not. I know it's not coming through clear. <laughs> oh, he's got the tockley hanging out there. <laughs> yeah, there. It's a wonder there's no one pointing at it with a torch. Caught him with the weapon. <laughs> oh, the story goes on. <laughs> officers, officers arrived 30 minutes later and handcuffed him before hauling him naked into the back of a police truck where he laughed about his depraved act. The man told police he felt the urge. <laughs> he felt the urge to have sex with a cow <laughs> and be began fondling it before <laughs> having sex until he, until he orgasmed. Until he orgasmed. <laughs> He, he, he said he felt strong emotions and could not stop himself from being attracted to it. <laughs> as, as he watched it grazing, grazing. <laughs> locals then gave him, <laughs> uh, the, locals, the locals then gave him a pair of blue shorts to cover himself up with. Now look, I, I've never heard of this ha happening before in Lumpung. It's, it's not a common. <laughs> it's not a common thing. Oh, you well, said it's got the tackle. Actually, they got the obviously, tackle thing in out again. Uh, Jeez, look at that at night in the morning. Obviously, you hang around with the wrong crowd, so you reckon it's boring. There's his, there's his <laughs> ta -ta. <laughs> oh, he's not la He's not laughing now. He's not la He's not laughing now. He's in custody, so the world is the world is safe again. 
<laughs> There's the victim. Let's <laughs> 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 go. Let's go. Toys. Yeah, 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 respect <laughs> animals and, and, and love their animals dearly, um, yes, as I've do. shown yes, in so the um, fighting cops <laughs> and, and how they are actually like part of the family. So this man's actually raped someone's like a, almost like a family member. Right. Officers check the cow. Oh, it goes on. Uh, Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Look, the officers have checked the cow and found traces of the man's semen around his vagina and oh, saw fluids from, yeah. from the cow on the man's <laughs> groin. <laughs> <laughs> she was arrested after admitting having sex and is currently being questioned, of course. I don't know what the fine is. I, I don't know what the fine is for this, but... Farmer Kong... Oh, this one... Oh, oh, gee. Here's, here's the owner of the cow. This is... this. Is, let the owner... Let the owner of the cow tell the story. Uh, I, won't, I won't read his name here, but he's 65. He owns the cow. And he said, I, met, I saw the man snogging and groping. And <laughs> effing. <laughs> effing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you would. Look, we we chased him, but he did not stop. And uh, that's when he called the police. We found him hiding in the bathroom of the house. Yep. If we didn't catch him, he might have carried on with other cows. He might have carried on with the other cows. Like, you never know how much he wants. You know this guy. <laughs> it is said, yeah, of course it is. It's said that the animals are not safe because of that person. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. I wonder how much you paid the bar fine. Was <laughs> it paid the farmer a bar fine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hang on, the old is the old the old saving thing. He may have been drunk at the time. And they are assessing his mental health. Yeah, well, that's something cool. against someone's flag. The the video, was, look. Yeah, the cow was under 18. <laughs> Even bank, bank. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, there's your report. There's your report for tomorrow. Thanks, <laughs> Adrian. <laughs>